I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm just gonna start this video off by saying that there will probably be spoilers. So just watch this video with that in mind. So I guess now that Beyond Light has finally dropped, I'm probably left with some of the biggest questions that I think I've had in Destiny for a long time. And that question is, who in the fuck is Sean Ham? Really, who, who are you? Where did you come from? I'm so confused. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I mean, I guess it's cool that you're wearing some some armor that I have, which, you know, is, I mean, I guess you're just like me, except for the fact that I don't just haphazardly put on useless ass exotics. I mean, yes, they look cool. Yes, it looks great. I mean, I think I even have an ornament for this one. Look at that. You know, honestly, the ornament really isn't even as cool as, you know what, never mind. Points deducted. I don't even, like, do you even have a lore tab? Like, what, what? Bungie just keeps throwing in these people and expecting me to give a damn. But the thing is, I just don't. And you're telling me this person has weekly bounties? Obviously that shit's not gonna get done. There are plenty of other bounties in the literal solar system that I could be doing besides the ones on the goddamn Cosmodrome. The only reason the Cosmodrome is here is a call back to D1, okay? We don't need bounties in the Cosmodrome. Who, no one, who is doing that? Who is doing these? If you're doing these, please raise your hands in the comments so that I can come and speak to you. Don't worry, I just want to talk. It's okay. I mean, all I'm saying is, is that you're enabling Bungie to keep throwing in these useless random ass characters. Now let's hop on over to the new chunk of ice we have for Planet Europa. I'm not gonna lie, man. This place looks kind of cool. Like, no shit, man. Like, I really like it. I mean, it's cold as fuck out here, but hey, man, what can you do? We got this new cool ass structure, which uh, serves as a double purpose for a stage. Obviously, if you've seen any of my recent videos, if you haven't, get your head from under a rock. What's wrong with you? Also, I learned a new word and that word is ziggurat. I didn't even know what that was. You know, to be honest, when they first put that shit out, I was like, a ziggurat? What the fuck is a ziggurat? And so I typed into Google and it was like, hey, yo fam, this is an actual word and these are actually things that exist. They actually have cultural significance. And I was just like, holy shit, wow. <laughs> People have been going up to the exo stranger and talking about how thick she is. Listen, I just want to point something out for you real quick. My good sirs, this is not thick, okay? She got a little bit of, she got a little bit of a booty back there, sure, but she not she not thick, you know, she she got a, she she do a couple of squats, but she not she not thick, bro. So I'm gonna need y'all to really know what thick is. Cause I keep hearing this word thrown around about the exo stranger, thick this and thick that. I'm like, I don't think y'all really know what thick is. She is bae though, so I will say that. But you know, for a planet so goddamn cold, I thought she'd have some more clothes on. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I mean to be fair, she's a robot, but you know, ro exos can have like human parts. So does my think does my comment still stand? I'm I'm so confused. This bitch walked out of her house this morning and she was like, "Wait a minute, I got to get my cold gear." And then she grabbed a literal hood and then said, "I'm ready." Next on the menu to be flamed is Varix. Now he be making these weird noises like the what what how I go or some shit, I don't know. It's pretty funny. Oh god, that shit remind me of Hannibal Lecter. Like, you know you know you know that sound he be making with, you know, the you know the you know that thing. It just boggles my mind because Zavala was like, you know, bro, I just really can't stand the fact that we have to work with this guy. But you know what? For the greater good. I feel like that's the key. You know what? You just have to tell Zavala that it's for the greater good and he'll let you do whatever the fuck you want. Like, darkness? Oh, I hate the darkness. But it's for the greater good? Shit. Son of a bitch. I'm in. You want to use hive magic? It's for the greater good. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'm in. Shit, you killed Cade, but you still wanna be sitting around in my social circle. Son of a bitch, I'm in. I would think the leader of the vanguards would be a little harder to persuade than that, but you know what? To each their own, I guess. Tell me what my suit is, woman! We are talking about the greater good! Greater good? I am your wife! I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get! You know what? Okay, so here's the thing with stasis. Okay, so I'm glad as hell they nerfed that damn warlock stasis shit. 
because I was in I was hopping in Crucible. I hopped in Crucible for like a little bit and I immediately regretted it. I, I hated it. I hated it. Every time they bring some kind of a new thing, you know, to Destiny, I instantly hate it because it just gets abused. You know what? And you didn't even have to abuse the damn warlock super. That shit was just absolutely insane from the start. Like, who the hell does that? Who the hell gives people ice tridents, man? That shit was an instant team wipe. Like, that needed to go, man. Surprisingly, for the first time, the Hunter Super is probably the least aggravating out of all three of them. I don't, I, I don't know how they attain this. I don't know how they achieve this, but it needs to keep happening because this is balance. On a scale of one to annoying as fuck, I think Warlock takes the annoying as fuck and then second is like Titan. You know, Titan's always just, <sighs> something just, uh, something about him, man. Just, just makes me instantly angry. I see a Titan and I just become filled with rage. I don't know what it is, okay? Don't ask me. Maybe I'm a bit classist. Shit, I don't know. And you know what? After I got on my Titan and tried the Stasis Super, I immediately understood why I was becoming angry. And it was because nothing changed for the Titan. I keep hearing the Titans complain about how there's no one punch kill thing. You know, you don't just, you can't just run into somebody and then break their fucking life in half. And I gotta say, even though that is true, thank God for the Titan stasis. I, it, it encourages Titans to do the unthinkable, use their fucking weapons. For me. How do I know this? How do I know that Titans don't use their weapons? Here, let me show you really quick. This is big brain time. I was playing as a titan and I literally couldn't stop using my hands. It's like some kind of a curse. I don't get it. And I feel that stasis has finally lifted that curse. This just in, I fucking lied. I felt, I felt like I find myself punching more now than I did before, which isn't helping anyone. By the way, this is garbage. It's garbage. I feel like Bungie needs to go down like a checklist every time they make something. Because I feel like recently they've been forgetting some very important stuff. Like, what does it do? Does it kill? How long does it take to kill whatever it's supposed to kill? This gun does absolutely fuck all for damage. It does no damage, but it is taking up my exotic slot. When you make an exotic, I need you to have a bulletin board and a list of things that should be included in each exotic. One of them should be that it kills something. All right, that's really all I got for y'all today. <laughs> um, it's been a while and I really wanted to talk about this DLC. Um, honestly, these are all questions and comments I've had floating around in my head for the better part of like three weeks. So I wanted to get that off my chest. Um, I know you guys said you wanted me to some, well, some of you guys said you wanted me to do more dance videos, which I'm playing with the idea. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet. It's actually really difficult to coordinate like <laughs> six people, which, but it was really cool because um, my, after my first video, my clan, like they like rushed in to help me make the next one, which was super fun. Um, I did do like a mock promo, which, I'll show at the end of the video. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, <laughs> but um, I mean, it was fun to make and shoot. I might, I might still, I might do it. I might not, I don't know. If I do do it, uh, I don't know the frequency at which they'll pop out. Cause like I said, it's really hard to get people together. So yeah, um, but yeah, it's just hard to find people and um, get people together. But um, yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.